Recognize these faces? Pat Crawl, Ivy Chung, and Eva Fong used to rule the runways back in the 80s during the dawn of the Singapore supermodels. And the three reunited at St. Regis Hotel at the 35th anniversary party for Carrie Models, a local modeling agency that is one of the top in Asia. Now part of the Kel Carries group, the agency that discovered the likes of Chi Ti, Leon Williams, and Sheila Sim was founded by Carrie Wong at a time when she thought her own career as a model was over. I did not believe that modeling can last long, so after five years of modeling, I just decided that we have to have a new, new, new talent. Oh my goodness, we're talking about 40 years ago, right? I started very small. In fact, in the in the hired in the, at the high at the uh, car park in the car park uh, basement car park and at the hired uh, started with only three models. Who were your models at that time? Oh, um, that time was Shirley, uh, Janine, and uh, Dick. Dick was modeling for me as well. Dick Lee. <laughs> The woman, however, who took the agency to greater heights is Linda Teo, who claims getting into the business was an accident. By chance. Uh, because when I was uh, 21 years old, uh, Carrie started Carrie Model Agency and I was working for her partner as a, you know, as a PA. And then a few years later, she decided to leave Singapore and bought the company over. Those days were quite cheap. La. <laughs> oh, not cheap, reasonable. The proper word to use. The investment. It was a small company then. How many models were there then? Oh, it was only 10, 12 models in those days. How many models do you have now? Oh, 500. Also key to Carrie's success was Dick Lee, who not only was a model, but a show choreographer, show music producer, and most importantly, the talent scout who picked and groomed some of Singapore's most famous supermodels. Like I saw Hannes in a supermarket. She was lining up to pay. I just looked at her and I said, this girl is so tall and so thin. Just went up to her, gave her my card, Nora Arifin. She was working as a sales girl in, in, a, in a boutique called Blue Ginger, a fashion, fashion boutique. And then there was, uh, for example, well, Ethel Fong was one of the ones I trained. She, she went abroad, became quite famous. Then there was Pat Crawl, who was part of our early group. And Cecil Chong, he, he was actually dating Pat Crawl at the time. He was very tall. And then uh, the other one was, uh, who was very young at the time was Chuan Do, the photographer. He was a carry model. But times have changed. And finding a new batch of Singapore supermodels is not that easy these days. The difference is that the standard of modeling now, the demand is, is higher. In the sense that they ex the clients now all over the world, they expect more professionalism. In terms of also the looks of the model have changed in terms of height. In those days, 70s, 80s, when you are like 1.67, you can model. But now it's shortest is 1.75, shortest the guys will be 1.82. So what exactly are they looking for? Girls, a certain look, X factor they have, complexions, the, 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 the feel of the whole persona. And also for guys, the same thing, but guys, we need something a little bit more, uh, <clears throat> like a little bit men, but that not too bulky, you know what I mean? Like slender, but a certain kind of charm. <laughs> so is that it would charm you away, like, you know, <laughs> look at me, you know? Among the agency's current top offerings are Amber Shi from China, who has fronted the Shanghai Tang campaign, Gail Lai from Hong Kong, who is better known as Leon Lai's wife, Thai Canadian Anthony Sandstrom, who is the face of Xenia, and not forgetting Singapore's very own Sheila Sim. And while models face more stringent requirements these days, certain things remain the same. For instance, models still have to deal with unwanted attention and propositions. I was at the Christian Dior show and this very nice gentleman came up to me and say, you know, we're looking for girls to do the Shiseido makeup fashion show. And I said, sure. And I guess I was bad because it was not going to the agency. I can't accept a job not going to the agency. And I got a job. I was very well paid. And I want to say thank you to him. Like a silly girl just thought, it'd be nice to say thank you. And I invited him for a drink. And he thought that I was going to give him more than a drink. You, uh, I had to fist fight myself out of the situation. Taught me a lesson, don't say thank you. <laughs> oh, 
试过一次，有一个导演打给我说 ，Amber， 你可以过来做 casting 吗？然后我说 OK， 什么时间？他说晚上十点钟可以在我酒店楼下的，就是一个。类似于酒吧，然后我说：“那你可以明天上午吗？因为太晚了，我不不可以过来。”然后他说：“哦，明天上午我走了。”我说：“那没有别的时间，就是现在下午可以吗？”他说：“不可以，一定要那个时间。”我说：“哦，那好吧，谢谢，我应该没时间。”我可能还会有那个自我保护，因为我觉得那个时间不应该是做 casting 的时间吧。Yes, the men still don't get it. Up next, we get the supermodels of the 80s to relive their heydays. <laughs> 